Does your old TTS method not work anymore? Since Soul Rock no longer exists and Uber Duck decided to put a paywall over their services? Well, do I have the solution for you? I was in a similar boat where my TTS broke and I didn't know how to replace it. I did some looking around and I found just the solution. Um, it turns out the solution is a little program called Tangia. Maybe this program has been out and I just, it slipped through my radar and I didn't notice it, but I don't know how I didn't find this sooner. This is a great resource for new streamers who want to add a little flavor, a little flair to their stream. And it's free. All you have to do is you go to the join Tangia or login. Either way, um, it'll take you through a setup to pick which streaming service you're using, whether that be Kick, YouTube, or Twitch. It'll take you through the steps of getting Tangia to set up its overlay onto your OBS. And once you have that overlay, we can get started on making your TTS work. Um, I'm going to show you a sample of what it looks like. So here I'm going to go to my channel points. I have it set up as a channel point. And I'll show you how to do that as well. There you go. So I have sent it through the redeem, and it this will is take. Our test to show how the Tangia T's model works. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, um, a little bar popped up, and it transcribed what was said as the TTS speaks. That is a feature unique to Tangia, and honestly, a feature I really appreciate. And as you can see here, this is where I've decided to put my Tangia overlay right here uh you can see that it's in the it's in my chat buddy scene i highly recommend that if you're good i have a chat buddy you should make a separate scene for them but um that will be later in the video for more explanation on that right now we're focused on this overlay so this overlay is going to have the link that tangia provides for you it'll, it'll go through literally all of the steps um it's super easy you just go through the steps it tells you how to do it and once you have that, we can start setting up our buddy. But I'd like to show you a test of how this at this stage works right now. This is me in Tangia under the interactions tabs right now. Now that we have our Tangia overlay set up, um, I'd like to do a little test. So let's pick one of these. Right now I have them all disabled, but that's because when you first use the service, when you first log on, they're going to have all these things enabled like this. And it's a huge list. It takes forever to disable them all manually. So if you don't want to do that and save some time, you just go up here and do disable all. And that way they're all disabled and you don't have to worry about it. And then you can stroll through and see anything that catches your eye. But for right now, we're just doing a test. So let's use this anime wow. We're going to enable it. And then here, this little rocket is the test interaction. I'll launch that. It'll take a minute. There we go. And uh, TTS even moved. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So, uh, yeah, it works now that you have that set up. I have disabled T TTS right now, so I can give you a clear view of what it should like for you right now without your, your chat buddy. And send the test. There we go. Excellent. Uh, one little note is if it doesn't work, it's likely because uh, you're going to want to mess with your sound settings. So go to your Tangia overlay, go to advanced audio properties, and here you'll see audio monitoring. This is where you're likely going to get tripped up. I have it here as monitor only mute output, and that seems to be working for me just fine. Um, I recommend you do that as well. All right, now that we have that all set up, and after a couple tests to make sure that the voice that the sound is coming through, let's set up our chat buddy. Before you set him up, I recommend you make a separate scene for your chat buddy, as I have done here. So this is what it would look like. Your scene should look like blank with just your chat buddy here. 
wherever you want him to be. And I'll show you why you're going to want a separate seat. Because let's say I switch over here. Oh, hello. He's right here next to me. And if I switch over to my game, he's also right here. It makes it super easy for your chat buddy to be seen across scenes without having to change uh, each of your scenes individually. If you were to say, put him in a cage or give him a fancy hat. Now, how to make your TTS speak? Well, first of all, you're going to need two things. First, you're going to need an open animation and a closed animation. And they're not really animations. They can easily just be PNGs. That's what my buddy is. You're going to want an open for your speaking and a closed for your not speaking. Once you have that, you're going to need to get a special OBS plugin. Uh, this is really important because it does not come with OBS, even though it should. And that little thing is going to be called image reaction source. So first, let's go through uh, setting up the plugin for OBS. Okay, so here's the plugin. This is what it should look like. If you're anywhere else, then uh, don't touch it. Don't touch anything. Go back and try to find this. I will post a link in the in the bio of where to find this particular software. So what you're going to want to do is go to this action reimage 2. You're going to click the download and download for your specs. The installation process is a little tricky. You're going to want to follow these instructions as best as you can. And when in doubt, ask the internet. They know more about OBS than I do. Anyway, once you have that set up, you're going to end up with what I showed you before. It's the image reaction source. Let me show you what my TTS looks like. So if we open up my TTS and properties, when you make your new reaction source, it's going to show you your reaction one image, which is going to be your closed image. And then your image reaction two is going to be your open. And that's how we're going to get it to speak. This is all good. And as you can see here, the audio source, this is really important. You're going to need to set your audio source as the Tangia overlay. And that's how your TTS is going to know which audio source to draw from to make your PNG open and close and move. Okay, so that should be all good set up and plugged in. Let's give it a test. I'm going to use the same effect we used last time, which is the anime wow. I click the rocket, test it. And there he goes. See, he works. He, he moves. Wonderful. That's all working great. Let's move on to making your uh, redeems as channel points. But before we do that, let's first pick out a voice. Uh, so what I like to do, because there's so many options, is I like to turn everything off, except for the one thing that I'm looking for. So let's do that real quick. All right, here are all the voices. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of them. Uh, there's a lot of really interesting ones like Captain Jack, Obi-Wan, Walter White, uh, Saul, there's there's quite a bit, Cave Johnson, and Potato, Portal Potato, I didn't see that one before. Obama, yeah, there's there's a lot of, there's a lot of choices here. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, you see, they have TF2 voices. And my original voice was the TF2 spy, so it's here, and I'm happy about that. Um, as you can see, I've already set it up for my purposes, but I'm going to show you how to set it up for you. To change ch change you to channel points is a little complicated, but also not really at all. So as you can see, the price here, this is how many bits would normally be asked for to play. But if you do just want to make it channel points here, um, where you can enable and then customize price will take you over here to your price multiplier. I have it lowest at 10 because I think that just makes sense. Also, it makes for easy math because you can just go over to your TTS, go to the price and be like, how many channel points is that going to be? We'll just add a zero to the end and that'll be how many channel points. And I have it as 250. That seems to be a pretty reasonable price for me anyway. So now that you have that enabled, you should be able to see it. If we pull up your chat, you should be able to open this and see that it's automatically in there. All right, let's do another test. Uh, I, I liked this, so let's just let's just do it again. Uh, we're gonna scroll over to you. It's gonna take a little bit 
to register and figure out how to speak. Hello! I to drink wine and commit war crimes. Mmm! <laughs> He's a little funky with his voice, but I think it adds charm. Um, let, while I'm here, let me show you how to change the appearance of your TTS, because I'm sure you don't want it to look like this um, if you don't have to. So let me show you how to change that. It's really simple. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, you want to go back to your Twitch dashboard, and you're going to find channel points under viewer rewards. Clicking on that will take you to this screen. You're going to want to go to manage. Scroll all the way down to your bright orange one, <laughs> this one right here, and click edit. Now we can edit it. I'm going to change it just to TTS because it's my only TTS. Change the description if you don't want it to just be input. Um, and you can add your image. I'll do that real quick. Okay, we have that. And you can also change the color. I'm going to change it to my previous TTS color was. So give me one second while I grab the hex code and done. Okay. Now we have that all set up. And as you can see, there it is. If you return to your OBS side channel points, there it is. There he is. Right here. I'm here. And I am ready to play! No! <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't change the the speech bubble. Uh, the, can't change the speech bubble's color. It's gonna be orange no matter what. I, trust me, I looked. I wanted it to be blue. It's okay. Uh, it's what it is. But, now you have a TTS that has a unique voice! And it's free of charge. So, again, uh, if this is something you want, look into Tangia. It's a good, it's a good program that they got a lot to offer. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Now go out and enjoy your TTS in the great streaming world. Take care.